After months of training and preparation, dozens of dog sled teams are nearing the end of three tough frozen days. The Bear Grease Dog Sled Marathon started Sunday in Duluth and finished today near Grand Portage. I'm John Bear Grease delivered mail uh, along the North Shore in the late 1800s, early 1900s. He only had three dogs. He traveled during the day. Um, he delivered mail to all of the small communities, so we're running the same trail that he did. WCCO photojournalist Ben Harper takes us along the 300 mile trail to share the pride and passion of the racers. The experience of traveling the trail is really you know, what drives me in the most. And um, of course, it's the dogs. Their excitement to cover this trail and see what's around the next corner out in the middle of the night. Um, it's quite an experience. The passion of taking care of dogs, loving dogs, training dogs, just being around them. I'd rather be around dogs more than people. <laughs> the dogs are absolutely amazing. And I always tell people that it's an absolute privilege and honor for these amazing animals to let me be their leader and their guide or their, their coach. To have such an amazing animal do what they do for us and to allow us to take that role, it feels, it's really good. It's a really special thing. A lot of wind on the trail, but it's, the dogs love it. How about you? Do you love it? I do love it, yeah. I it, it got a little chilly today, but I love it. Maybe we're certifiably crazy. I, I so really, I, I like the cold. I don't like being cold in the cold. So it's the challenge of actually keeping yourself com relatively comfortable and uh, uh, enduring the elements with your dogs. And uh, um, you know, I think we're all a lot tougher than we realize we are, and capable of doing more than when we realize. Like when running a did rod and running this race, you're, you're, you know, you're going to be tested uh, and, and seeing how um, you can stay positive and resilient and and, and how you do out there. Yes. Minnesotans are all about this, just getting out in the cold and being together. It's a very unique sport, you know, and it, when you see these mushers, the camaraderie they have with each other, um, the relationship they have with their dog, yes, they're competing, but they're also friends and they help each other out there. There's more than one way to do things, and there's more than one way to do things well. And so you'll see different teams doing things very differently from one another, but they're all competing at the same level, and that's really cool, I think. The Bear Grease is such a fun race. I love that the checkpoints are pretty close together. And every time that um, you just start to feel like the trail's getting a little bit too long and you're a little bit too cold, there's a checkpoint with all your friends and family and fans. So we get in, uh, put the jackets on the dogs, take the booties off, get the straw down, offer them a snack. And right now I'm just making their big meal, um, which I'll try and feed them within the hour of when we arrive. And then I want them to nap for the rest of the time. Rest, refuel, recharge, and, and then get back on the trail again, basically. Lots of beautiful scenery out here in northern Minnesota. I think the views, um, the scenery, uh, how the dogs perform, and how we relate to one another. It's fun to get beyond Sawbill, um, get up into uh, the big hills, the Sawtooth Mountains, and the views, the cliffs, the trees, the rocks, the frozen lakes, everything, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing. When you are mushing dogs all throughout the night and you put your headlamp out and you watch the sun come up, it, it's amazing. It's, it's quite an experience for those of us that um, kind of fills our soul to be out there. Now we've wow. been keeping an eye on the race results and Keith Eiley is this year's winner. According to WDIO, this is Eiley's second Bear Grease title. It took him 52 hours and 58 minutes to run the course. He crossed the finish line just before three this afternoon. He is from Ray, Minnesota, which is way up north in Kuchiching. Did I say that one right, guys? You got it. Kuchiching County. It. Wow, a great job by Ben Harper, too, our yeah, photojournalist. That's, it's hard to shoot in that kind of cold, and he did a great job. Beautiful, beautiful scenery, and he yeah. definitely captured it.